Okay, pie dough. Um, we're going to show you how to make a pie dough by hand. And pie dough is important that you follow certain mixing steps. And over mixing is always the biggest mistake uh, that's done. So we're going to start off with the ingredients. We're going to use uh, pastry flour, regular shortening, because it's the lightest fat we can get, so it makes a flakier pie crust. Um, sugar, flavor, coloring, and the same with the salt. Helps to give some flavor and helps with the coloring. And least is the water, cold, so it doesn't warm up the shortening uh, and make the pie dough sticky. So we start off with uh, dissolving the sugar and the salt in the water. Because it's a very short mixing period, we're going to make sure that we have an even distribution. Okay. Then uh, the next step is combining the shortening and the flour. Now this is the step that's going to decide if it's a flaky pie crust or if it's a solid uh, piece of dough. So the trick is to break the shortening particles into approximately pecan sized pieces and using the flour to prevent the pieces to stick back together. So all I'm doing is I'm breaking the shortening into my fingertips. At the same time, I'm picking up flour, which then coats the smaller particles, prevent it from sticking together. Now if I overwork this part, I can produce this paste already. And if you produce a paste, it's impossible for the water to be absorbed. Okay? So if I'm just taking a small piece here, and I'm just really working it, okay, and see we are getting a paste. Well, this one is nice and dry. So it's almost impossible to add this water into a piece of dough that looks like this. Let's put it aside. So the larger the particles you have, the larger the flakiness in the pie crust. What's going to happen in the oven, the fat in the pie crust melts into a liquid. The liquid turns into steam, and the steam is the layers in the pie dough that gives us the flakiness. Okay, so that's completely dry. Still can see the particles of the fat. And now what we do is we take the water and a very short mixing period is used for this. So we add all the water at once. And you can see it's basically already disappeared. Okay, so we just mix enough to hold the product together. Okay, I'm just going to scrape it onto the table. It's easier to see. And with a plastic scraper, all I'm doing is folding it over. And picking up the loose particles. The, puff, uh, the pie dough has to look rough. It's not like a smooth yeast dough. It has to look crumbly. Because when we roll it out, it's going to be worked again, and if the pie dough is overworked, it starts to shrink uh, when we bake it. Okay? So now this pie dough has to refrigerate for approximately 10 minutes, and then it has fat, the fat sets a bit, and it makes it easier to roll it out after. Okay, so I'm going to put this into the refrigerator. into the bowl. Okay. okay, lining the pie shells with the pie dough 
which has uh, set now. Uh, it's been sitting for about uh, 20 minutes. So we're going to line an 8 inch uh, pie shell. For this you need approximately 180 to 200 grams of pie dough. So to prevent the pie dough from sticking, we put a very thin layer of flour on the table. And since the foam we shape is round, we're going to start the pie dough in a round shape. So just enough flour that the pie dough slides. If the pie dough sticks on the table, it's not going to move anymore. So we use a rolling pin, put some flour on it. And when you roll out the pie dough, any dough you start in the middle and you roll one direction. Pick it up, go back in the middle, roll the opposite direction. And what's important is that you always check that the pie dough slides. Okay, you can flip it over if necessary. And we do the same thing. You can just turn your body. If the pie dough sticks, use a spatula. And to loosen it up again, pick a bit of extra flour. Now the pie dough only has to be approximately an inch uh, longer in diameter than the shape, the form you line. So you just go from the center always to the outside and I don't push, I'm just using the weight of the rolling pin to do this. Now we measure the form upside down, so approximately an inch excess on the outside. That's all we need. With 180 gram, you have automatically the right thickness. Okay. Now to lift the pie dough into the pie shell, we fold it in half, pull the pie dough close, shell closer, and line this in the middle, flip it, and we have it perfectly lined. Now the first step is to get rid of the air pockets, they foam. And what we do is we lift it up, push with the right hand against the side. I will lift up the excess. Then from the center, we push it towards the side, flatten it out, lift up the pie plate and use a spatula, not a knife because you don't want to cut into the aluminum. On a 45 degree angle, we cut the excess pie dough off. So we have a clean shell lined in the foam. Uh, the reason for that is anything that, uh, any pie, piece of dough that sticks out is going to burn uh, during the baking. And if the pie dough is uh, mixed properly, it has uh, rested long enough, there's no shrinkage. If the pie dough would have uh, been overworked, after you cut off the pie dough, it would shrink approximately half an inch away. The last thing which we have to do is uh, poke some holes into the base of the pie dough. This is to prevent the air that's trapped underneath to expand and lift up the base while it bakes. So this way the air can escape uh, through the product. Okay? And this pie dough is ready to be filled or it can be baked empty in the oven. Now to bake it empty, you would have to put some weight on it, which uh, is enough by putting a empty pie plate on it. And that keeps the pie dough in shape. And once the pie dough has dried, you can lift off the plate and bake the center out as well.